Ah, hello everybody. I'm back. In case you're new here, I'm working on my game Partisan. What is Partisan, you ask? Well, it's an immersive sim FPS that I've been working on for the past year, similar to the likes of Deus Ex and Half-Life, but with faster paced combat. Now in my last video, I didn't really tell you much. I kind of just went over the entire project in one video, so I couldn't give you much detail on anything. So while I'm not gonna make too many changes since the last video, I wanna go over my stealth system, because to be honest, it's kind of jank right now. So how does one go about doing that? Good question. Currently, I don't think the stealth system is too great. The enemies see you, then they either A, look at you for a short time, then walk to where they saw you, or B, look at you for a long time, in which case they go into a spotted state where they follow you around until you get them off your tail. Now, this works okay, good enough to even be showcased in my last video. But if you get seen and quickly go around the corner, the enemies just kind of go to where they last saw you, and that's it. They don't check around that corner. So you can effectively escape enemies just by going around a corner, which makes them feel pretty stupid. To fix this, I'm going to make a search state where the enemies go around nearby corners and such, so they can hopefully find you better. Let's do this. So, now when an AI spots a player, they first go into a spotted state, where they go to the player's last seen position, until the player loses them. And when they do lose them, they go into the new search area state, where they search a few random positions, until they either find the player, or run out of positions to search. So the problem is solved. The enemies no longer feel like dementia-ridden blind people, instead just dementia-ridden people. I still don't think that the stealth system is perfect, but it's good enough for right now. Then I made a couple of changes to the AI, letting them use interactables, doors and things like that. Which speaking of doors, I modeled and added doors to the small building in the middle of the map. But anyways, the AI can now go up to the door, wait for it to open, and then walk through it. Real exciting stuff. I then also made the AI wiggle around a bit when ragdolling by adding random rotation to the rigid body. So now you can tell whether they're alive or not when they're ragdolling. I also made the trip wires physically based, so now you can hang objects off of them. I'm not too sure what you'd use this for, but uh, it's there if you can figure out a use for it. Then I worked on making the game just a little bit prettier, and by prettier I mean adding garbage cans to it. I see you. Oh, and also a little bit more foliage, window and wall trimmings, and some new decals. The last thing that I worked on was a refactoring of the attachment system. While before, the attachment stats would stack, the attachment game objects would break if you put two or more of the same attachment type. But now, you could put as many of the same attachment as you want. So, you could do something a little bit like this. What? What the fuck? No, no stop. S stop! Anyways, uh, that's kind of it. I also fixed a bunch of bugs, uh, boring stuff, you know, refactoring, that sort of thing. But I'm not going to show you any of that because I'm not a fucking nerd. I also worked on the weapons a bit, um, but they're not ready just yet. So I'll probably have those done by the next video, but no promises. So if you do want to see those new weapons, uh, subscribe, subs subscribe, and leave a comment if you can. Uh, that would help me. I'm still trying to get in the algorithm, you know? Oh, uh, and also go watch that video over there if you haven't already. Um, it's sort of like an introduction to the entire project. I go over almost everything. Uh, it is pretty brief though. And yeah. Anywho, catch you on the flip side. <laughs>